Greetings, fans and flamers. We're back with more Commodore Month, as you may have guessed, <laughs> probably. And continuing with the B titles, we have, well, once it finishes loading, well, as you see, Bowman. Wait a minute. That says Lodestar, not Bowman. Yep, Lodestar. This was, the, as far as I'm concerned, one of the most kick-ass Commodore magazines out there. Every month you'd get a, you'd get a different sub set of games or... Or, well, to me, set of games, but it's a different set of programs anyway. Different different bits of information, reviews, etc. that weren't influenced by, by salespeople. But, in either case, let's get on with this. Let's speed this process up a little. And here we are. Go right to Funware. And, oops, I almost forgot. I uh, have to attach side 3. And we'll load, and we'll load Bowman. Basically, the idea is you're hunting after a worm. That's W Y R M. That's broken into your, into your country or into your village anyway. Made itself a little nesting point, and so you're basically the one to take it out. You drew the short straw. Now you have to expel. Okay, I'm not going into that. So anyway. Speed this up a little. Select options, and just to keep the defaults, yeah, just just for the hell of it. I was going to play on easy when starting this, but I found out that easy is way too easy. So, well, for me anyway, because I'm I'm used to it. Okay, we'll see how I do. Probably wind up falling on my face, but let's play. All right, those gray squares are pits that lead down to the next stage. Oh, by the way, I will be doing Lodestar games throughout this throughout this month. So yeah, you are definitely going to see additional ones as we go along. And should you want to get a Lodestar game for yourself, just look down below in the description, and you'll see you'll see you'll see a link leading to a place where you can purchase it. 25, 25 bucks gets you like two hundred and thirty different different issues and programs and so so on so forth now well, more than 230 programs so it's not bad anyway these this is a fairly difficult game as you can see well I'm trying to avoid the getting hit got can serve my ammo a bit better the thing to know is that items naturally are always hidden in chests and every odd numbered level always has an additional has one of the five items that you're looking for first level had the rope now I'm looking for the potion which restores us to half health if if we die or probably when we die if I remember correctly The spiders. All right, the wounds. Obviously, when you run out, you die. But since there's usually enough potions to help keep you alive, you don't have to worry as much. Well, until you get to the much later levels. The cash you find in chests is just there for, well, points, so. All right, level five. In this area, we find, it, it, we're going to find the shield. Ah, good, we found it right away. Yay, we can get out of here. Mummies are just extraordinarily tough. Take a lot of shots, so. want to try to get to one of the exits if I can try and avoid dealing with as many mummies as possible try and conserve a bit of ammo maybe possibly ah I knew there was one there all right the ghosts these guys can go through walls what fun unfortunately we can't not so fun Anyway, the sh as I said, shield halves damage, 
And the reason we got the rope is because that lets us go. It lets us descend through pits without taking damage. Otherwise, only staircases are safe. Try and run. Damn, ghosts are everywhere. Damn the undead. Yuyuko, rein in your troops. I can't remember the correct passage through this. Whoa, whoa. It's, it's tracking me, I swear. Now, I know they don't really do that, but damn. That was just weird. All right. There's no treasure to be found on this stage, so if we can just get out of here. Go ahead. Come down here. Make my arrow happy. How do you kill something that's already dead? Yeah, basically they do damage based on how much health they have left. And... So therefore, if you can shoot them up before they get close, they can do maybe a mite's worth of damage. But you have to be quick. I think we can dash through there, but I want to see if any of the other chests have ammo. No, it might not be worth it. Just go. All right, these things shoot, if I recall. Oh, shoot. Speaking of shoot, oh, shoot. <laughs> it's not so difficult, but... Oh, I'm just hoping I have enough health to survive. Actually, I think you can shoot open those areas. And considering we're looking for one more item, why not? I thought these things can shoot. Well, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong enemy. Okay. Ah, there it is, the ring. This allows us to teleport to a random location every time we tap the space bar. It's... It can be useful... It's not guaranteed, though. All right, might as well use my arrows here. Mainly because of the fact that it's not going to matter as much in the next level. You'll see why. I'm getting very low on ammo. Okay, we'll try. Teleport! Oh, we teleported near the, near the exit. Lucky. Now we just have to run for it. Now we face these things, that you almost always wind up killing me. Mainly because of the fact they can teleport anywhere they please, and as you see, they do a decent amount of damage. Eesh. Alright, maybe... Uh, oh, we'll try one more time on this difficulty level, and if it doesn't work out, then I'll just... I'll just decrease it by one more level and try one more time and yeah ammo conservation is obviously very important <laughs> if I had been a little more conservative of ammo maybe I would have survived that stage but oh well All right, just I just wanted the arrows from here. There are no healing potions, and believe me, this this game is very difficult as is. So, well, I well other than the other healing potions, you know what I meant. There are no normal instant healers. Now you can shoot straight up and destroy the uh, wall there, but there is no need. Yeah, sometimes the game will drop an enemy right where you fall in. A bit cheap, if you ask me, but... What, what are you going to do? Alright. Just looking for the potion. We just want the potion so that we can leave here peacefully, calmly. Studiously. I don't know. Again, sounded good when I thought of it. 
let them run. Hopefully get out of the way. I don't know. I could just call them walking trees. I have no idea what they are. Oh, shoot. They are crowded in there. And they are... They are damage soakers. Oh, I am going to need a lot more ammo to survive. Isn't one of these wolves shootable? I can't remember. It might not matter. I'm going to have to survive a, a couple of bites then. Wiggle, wiggle that joystick. Okay, come on. The entrance is obviously at the top. I just... Alright, more arrows. We definitely need more ammo. Alright. Maybe we'll get lucky and the spider will run past, but I doubt it, so let's just run. Alright, let's find that shield and get the hell out of here. If these guys would get out of the way. Shield, yay. More ammo? Not yay. Well, more ammo would be yay, but this isn't, this wasn't, you know what I mean. Again. Ow! That was painful. Okay. Let's explore these chests. Maybe we'll come across something good. No, we won't. Okay, one more shot. Make me happy, game. Make me happy! And you didn't make me happy. Oh well. Ow! That made me very unhappy. Alright, back to the ghosts again. And I just went through here, so you'd think I would remember the passages, but evidently not. Ow! I j I'm gonna have to cut this back one difficulty level, but I think it's certain. I had forgotten just how unforgiving this game can be at times. Here and here. If I remember, there is a passage. So, ow! Right into a ghost. Well, this is screwed, so let's just accept our destiny. I'm gonna run into every enemy that I can find in the next stage. Why not? Well, maybe not. Maybe we can accept that death. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe without the ring, we can just tank the hits with the potion and the shield. Maybe. Let's see what we can do. Assuming we don't take too many more hits, and maybe if we can get some ammo. And we have no more. Oh, hell. That chest doesn't contain any ammo. We are screwed. I can't think of a way to get to the next level without any ammo. Because none of those walls are going to bend to our will. Yeah. And... 
I'm not waiting for the timer to run out normally, so warp mode. All right. I think I've learned my lesson now. Let's reduce it to two, and let's see if I can actually do this. Now that I've made a fool of myself, not once, but twice. But yeah, I want the rope before heading for the next level. There are just too many pits that I, that I have to use. It's an, rather invaluable, if you ask me. Alright, let's try and stop making a fool of myself. Well, okay, maybe I can't do that entirely, but we can at least do it partially, and I figure that should count for something. Alright. One shot, one kill. And naturally it's going to be in one of the last chests, of course. But let's see if we can get a few of our arrows back. Of course not. But we got more score. And that matters for absolutely nothing. Okay, let's just ignore as many of the orcs as we can. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, should I take the risk? I know I can get in there. I just can't remember where the passage is offhand. Ah! And it was just gold. You're worthless. Alright, back down here. And as you'll notice, yeah, the enemies have decreased a little. A little. So unlike some games, the difficulty does actually matter a little. Again, a little. I'm gonna keep saying that. Little, little. Now I just have to run for the exit. Oop. No, no, no. Any more ammo? No? Run. Alright, back to Spider Hole. Oh, that's what I'm gonna call it. Oh, maybe I'll get lucky and the spider will move up and I won't have to worry. Or I'll have to take a close shot. This game wants to try and go after me. Alright, fine. I was gonna say, I remembered leaving it here. Right where I left it. Yeah, you have to move in a direction once in order to fire in said direction. <sighs> Sad game limitation, but it's all you've got, so. Wish I could find a couple more arrows. That's the only problem I really have with this game is that ammo starvation is constant and just very real. <laughs> Maybe we'll get past the 8th level eventually. Eventually. I'm going to try to get a couple of those other chests in the hopes of getting more ammo. Oops and dreams. Where are they going? Well, I'm playing an F F6 hack, so... Go away, spider. We didn't want you. Oh, fine, I'll take the hit. I need the item more. Well, no, I didn't need cash more. I needed items, as in, you know, the arrows. Like that, yes. Can we have more chests like that, please? Oh, and those mummies. We need that shield. That shield, exactly. All right, get out of there. Back to the ghost fortress. Whoa. Get out of the... Get out of the... Uh. Oh, if 
I'm at last, less than half health, it'll be easier to instead run through several of the enemies in, the, in one of the later stages. I'm just trying to see if I can find any more arrows. Why not? Get as many as I can. Ah, perfect. Now let's run. Try and open as few chests as I can while running like a like a maniac at se face first into several of these enemies. Why? Because I actually want to do that in this case. Because I have less than half health, and therefore if I take them out face first, I'll conserve ammo. Besides, when I find another potion, it'll restore me back to, it'll, it'll give me slightly more health, in this case, anyway. Leash, back around, back around. And we'll hope that I can survive. Yeah, I really do not like stage 8 in this game. I don't want to have to drop the difficulty again just to get through this. Eesh. There's the next potion. Thank you. Any more arrows? No. Of course not. I can't remember if you can simply shoot through these blocks. No. I just wasted an arrow. As I said, ammo is precious, which is why I had to waste it. Boo. Oh, maybe I should... No, I sh shouldn't have grabbed the ring. That wouldn't have done me much better. No, I w would have saved arrows, but as I said... Next level, arrows just don't matter as much. As far as I'm concerned, those enemies on level 8 are cheap. Very, very cheap. Uh, now I've got to go through this. Make sure that they don't sting me and I lose whatever advantage I had. Of course, I also have to make sure I hit them. Otherwise, I will lose whatever advantage I had. Okay, just move away, away, away. Thank you. Now come towards me. Thank you. Was that so hard? Why couldn't we have done that earlier? Alright, now this level. as I'm... Uh, that does it. That does it. One more. I'm setting it for fairly easy. Uh, I give up. I know I'm not usually the easy, the person who takes easy and just looks at it and says, okay, this is how I'm going to play. But that does it. This, this game is evidently much harder than I remember, so we'll just take it fine. This really, this is a fun game. I, I admit, I suck at it. Okay, I am. I'm horrendous. Oh, I, I hate myself. Ah, shoot! That bat was right there, and I just ran right into it. Hi, are you my friend? Damn the zoo bats! Full speed ahead! Ah, oh, grab one more chest because I can. Alright, now this area should be even easier because of the fact that there are few, so few enemies running about. So let's just run. Uh, where? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I saw green and I was like, there's an, a green enemy right in the middle. Yes, exactly. He's just wielding a bow. Better be careful. Alright, just gotta find the potion. Potion is very important. Ow. So it's not getting hit, but I can only do so much. I hate it when it starts me with that. <laughs> Alright. Work my way around since we've saved plenty of our arrows. We won't have to 
worry as much. Why have we saved some arrows? Because of the fact we don't have as many enemies to shoot. Simple as that. That's math. Kind of. And the spider does, just does not want to come close. Well, fine. Be that way. Miss your time. See if I care. I'm, I'm not hurt. Alright. Eish, editing? What's that? Uh, more cash, more cash. We want... I'm not looking for gold. I'm looking for silver. Can you provide me with that shield? Thank you. Alright, back to the ghost level where we have to be a bit more cautious. And naturally all the ghosts come flocking for me. I'm their best friend! See if we can find a few more arrows before leaving this. Yes, perfect. Now we actually have a chance. All of my stupidity is still fairly stupid, but nonetheless. Eesh. Especially given that phrase. Let's see if we can find the ring. Not here. Not here. The ring, basically, since it teleports you to a random spot, it's one of those, it can be helpful. But, you have to have luck, you have to have a decent amount of luck on your side. <laughs> it can be useful in level 8, because the fact it... It can teleport you to an area near the exit. It can. Which is also what I'm going for. So, let's warp. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Like that. Oh, goody. Level 9. These were the enemies that can shoot. And they'll even shoot each other. Which, you know, to your advantage. And here we're looking for those arrows. Yeah, the pink ones. Why? Because pink is special. Uh, okay, they're, they're magic arrows. And really, they're the, they're the, they do even more damage to the worm than your regular arrows. They also replace your normal quiver the moment you, the moment you reach that level. So they really come in handy. Let's run. Level 10. No more shooters, and now we just get extremely strong whatever the hell they are. I don't even remember. We could use the ring to teleport around and maybe get to where we need to go, so let's give it a shot. Oh, that might be useful. get in and out of here, so give these guys a wide berth so I don't wind up getting tricked or well, at least attacked unceremoniously. No, it's all unceremoniously, but nonetheless. Okay, up through here. Okay, so the proper exit is to the right then. Okay. As you see, even on easy, I've taken a heck of a lot of damage, so Try and nab one more chest and try and remember how to get out. No. No. Ow. Ah. 
there we go and as you see the timer is very short for this area you can teleport around and as you see those magic arrows are now glowing and that's the worm it kinda looks like a big rat rather than an actual dragon if you ask me but they didn't ask me so first we have to get out of this prison we can, you can teleport if you want to try and hasten it and since you start at the very the truly beginning of of the maze why not all right go 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 shoot 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 but we still have the potion so even if he starts taking health we we can still get out of here um shoot i think i took a wrong turn Right, I had to shoot one of the walls, I forgot. Alright, okay, if I remember, I hit down somewhere along here. Now my health is draining. Oh, where's the right wall? I'm taking damage, I'm going to die on the final level, and I don't appreciate it. Come on! Just because I don't remember? Oh, shoot. I teleport. Whoa! I wound up in there. Okay. And I died anyway. Oh well, this is Bowman. Maybe you can maybe you can do better than I did. <laughs> anyway, that that's our that's well basically the bees for this well for this I want to say day, but since we'll be kind of combining things, I'll well geez, thirty minutes. I oh, I need to remember watch the timer. Um, my apologies. Uh, see you next vid.